good morning students in this lecture we are going to study about the watchdog timer uh, this is the second topic of unit 5 first topic is timer and counter which we are already studied in unit 1 so what we are going to learn in this lecture is what is watchdog watchdog timer what is its use then uh, what is the architecture of watchdog timer how it works and finally what are the various design consideration in order to design a watchdog timer that means uh, a design engineer should consider these facts in order to design a watchdog timer for any embedded system <laughs> let us start with watchdog timer basically what happen when we are talking about complex embedded system even a small bug may crash whole of the system or or even put it into a dangerous operating mode dangerous operating mode means say that ki if we have an embedded system of lift and it can actually sense if a person is in between the doors but due to some bug if it cannot sense the person in between the lift doors and the door will be closed then then actually the bug put this whole embedded system into dangerous operating mode rather so bugs are not only the problem actually even a perfect designer uh, can miss some of the parts in coding and that that may convert our embedded system into a dangerous operating zone so we have to look the performance expected outcome of an embedded system or even a microcontroller continuously so that if an expected output is not coming out from the embedded system then it can be reset easily for that purpose we use a watchdog timer so a watchdog timer is actually a safety mechanism that brings the system back to life when it cracks or or when uh, when an expected outcome is not coming from the system then it will bring the system into a last known state which is stable okay means uh, for example we can see that suppose we are using a smartphone and we use factory reset when we use factory reset all of the themes logos which actually we purchase the phone is resetted means that the phone reconfigure itself in a last well known stable state and that was the state of purchasing time or factory or uh, when it was prepared in factory that that means the phone will uh, actually regain that factory configuration okay so now moving towards the watchdog timer it is basically a safety mechanism whose sole responsibility is to bring the system back to life when it is when it crashes actually okay so it is very important that we have to design our watchdog timer very precisely okay now uh, moving towards the definition of watchdog timer a watchdog timer is basically a hardware it's not a software like we are being we are having um, compiler in risp in previous lecture we see that in risp the sole responsibility the sole responsibility of uh, performance of the processor is depending upon the software or we can say that on the compiler but in this case we are not using compiler but we are using a hardware hardware so a watchdog timer is actually a hardware that consists two things first one is timing device and second one is clock source remember the clock source which our watchdog timer is using is different from that of the system or microcontroller microcontroller has different microcontroller has different uh, uh, clock frequencies and our watchdog timer is different clock okay the source of clocks are different on 
close to it in all these two cases okay that means the watchdog timer is a hardware that consists of timing device and a clock source what about the timing device a timing device is basically a free running timer which is actually continuously running itself uh, we set some higher values say we set 10 then the timer start from 10 and it decrement itself from 10 to 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 and finally 0 in these time in this span of time when the counter start from its higher value and decrementing itself to the zero if there will be no input coming from the microcontroller then the watchdog timer will reset the system or microcontroller or cpu whatever is the case we will see later so uh, we can see that a watchdog timer is a hardware that can contains basically a timing device and clock source a timing device is a free running timer which is set of certain values which is basically set to certain values and get decremented continuously when the value reaches zero a short pulse is generated a short pulse is generated by watchdog timer circuitry that reset the system system means here microcontroller or embedded system or cpu of the microcontroller okay got it so that means watchdog timer is a hardware consists of two things a continuous running timer and a clock source okay when the timer start from higher value and decrementing itself to zero it will reset the system or microcontroller now moving towards the next slide there are two type of watchdog timer first one is external watchdog timer means your watchdog timer a physical device a, um, hardware device which is outside the micro here we can see that uh, we have in purple microcontroller MCU and a watchdog timer in green. Watchdog timer actually have is the, uh, an external part of the microcontroller. Here the watchdog timer we are having two things. One is reset and another is kick. Kick is actually the input which is given to the watchdog timer in a simulated period of time. Suppose uh, we are decrementing our value from 10 to 0 within 10 to 0 if microcontroller will not kick the watchdog timer then it will reset it once the value of timer goes to 0 but in between uh, 10 to 0 for example if there will be a kick or an input signal from the microcontroller then watchdog timer reset its timer value to higher value that is 10 and again start decrementing 10 8 9 Six, five, four, three, two, one, like zero. And within that, if microcontroller hit it another time, means kick it another time, then watchdog timer will start from a higher value again. Otherwise, it will reset the microcontroller. Now we are going to see the internal watchdog timer. In this internal watchdog timer, actually, watchdog timer is a part of MCU microcontroller in MCU. See microcontroller unit it is inside the microcontroller unit but the clock of the cpu that is the uh, clock provided to the microcontroller is different and the clock which is provided to the watchdog timer is different see we can easily see that uh, two clocks are there one is for the cpu microcontroller processing unit and one is for watchdog timer and here the watchdog timer is directly communicating with the cpu rather some pins of the microcontroller because it is the part of microcontroller itself okay again the same case reset and kick uh, watchdog timer start from higher to lower value higher to uh, decrementing from higher to lower value and within that if cpu will kick or give some input to the watchdog timer the timer will reset itself from higher value to the higher value and start decrementing again and in between if the watchdog timer timer starts from its higher value and decrementing to zero and doesn't get any kick signal then it will reset the cpu then it will reset the cpu okay and the clock is very different okay mind it clock or watchdog timer is different and the processor or cpu is different okay so we can see that a watchdog timer is actually resetting our microcontroller our embedded system or cpu whatever is the case if it is part of microcontroller if it is a part of microcontroller then it will reset the CPU because CPU is the heart of microcontroller. 
or if it is external then it will directly communicate with the pin of uh, microcontrollers okay now obviously it is the app application matlab uh, it is the application's responsibility it is the application responsibility means it is the responsibility of uh, our microcontroller application or software to reload the watchdog timer that means reload the watchdog timer means reload its value its timer value from uh, suppose it, it is skipped at time of 8 okay then it will reset it to 10 sometime it will kick, get kicked from uh, microcontroller at the time when the timer is at 1 then it will reset to 1 uh, sorry 10 again okay so it is the sole responsibility of application um, which are we are using in microcontroller to reset the first of timer okay once reloaded it will again start decrementing that we have already discussed in short watchdog timer continuously watches the execution of code and reset the system if software is hung or no longer ex- executing the correct sequence of the code means if uh, watchdog timer is actually what watchdog timer is actually constantly watching the execution of the code if our code is not executing perfectly or we are not getting the expected outcome within a simulated time simul- fix period of time then the first stop timer will reset reset the system okay and reloading of watch stop timer if uh, we are having timer in a watch stop timer wdt and the clock cycle so timer of wdt is reset wdt is reset reloaded by some software application and this the value some by some value okay in the software and this is this process is called kicking means reloading of watch stop timer value by the software is called kicking the watch stop timer we actually already seen here see you can see that this is kind of kicking microcontroller software kick the watch stop timer here cpu kick the watch stop timer okay so kicking is process of reloading watch stop timer value by the help of software obviously it is called kicking now moving towards the design consideration what should be the design consideration For design consideration of watch stop timer we are actually having four important design consideration first one is the clock source of wt must be separate which means that it should not be shared by the system system means micro uh, microcontroller or embedded system clock embedded system clock has different source of generation and first of timer has different system clock or oh, sorry different clock okay so their clock frequencies are not shared by each other both of them are having separate must have okay must have separate clock and one more thing if the crystal stop under normal operation from the crystal where we are getting uh, time clock pulse for the watch stop timer and if it is in sleep mode then watch stop timer will not work okay so it should be main design consideration of any design engineer if he are designing if he is designing watch stop timer then the clock frequency provided for the watch stop timer must be in active mode it should not be sleep otherwise watch stop timer will not work and the clock pulse is not shared by the system system clock pulse is different and the watch stop uh, watch stop timer clock pulse is different okay now moving towards the second design consideration the second design consideration we can see that once the watch stop timer start operation any software can not stop it or alter it value or we can say that watch stop timer cannot modify watch stop timer cannot modify the control register control register of uh, sorry uh, so, sorry any software cannot modify the control register of watch stop timer okay the first design consideration is what there should be separate clock okay crystal should not be in sleep mode otherwise watch stop timer will not work and second uh, second design consideration is Uh, once we start first stop timer it should not be changed or modified by any software 
or even we can say that the watchdog timer control register cannot be changed by any software it should be the feature of processor in case of internal watchdog timer it is the processor of feature that watchdog timer cannot be changed altered by any software it is locked itself okay now moving towards the third after the watchdog timer reset the system must come back to a known state okay under any condition even in any condition if the system knows that ki from railway station i can easily reach to my destination then uh, in in any condition he is anywhere in the uh, part of the city it actually wants to be at railway station so that it can go to its actual destination so the same case is here uh, after the watchdog is reset it actually regain the best known state okay best known stable state that is factory reset example of factory reset of mobile phone is actually kind of reset example okay so watchdog reset itself to a well known state okay and the final one fourth one is watchdog reset sequence must ensure that all connected peripherals whatever is peripheral connected to our uh, system it must that peripheral should also come in a known stable state that means we are having four different design consideration for any design engineer if he is designing a watchdog timer first one is watchdog timer should be different should use different clock it should not be shared with the microcontroller system and that crystal should not be in sleep mode otherwise our watchdog timer will not work okay second one once the watchdog timer starts even in case of uh, watchdog timer which is embedded inside the microcontroller in both of the cases the watchdog timer control register cannot be altered or modified by the help of any software it should be locked okay third one is after resetting of of watchdog timer the system must come to a well known stable state in any condition and fourth one the associated peripherals which is connected to our system that also must come to come to reset itself in a well known state okay so this is all about our lecture uh, design cons after design consideration the actual internal working and architecture we'll see in next chapter oh, sorry next presentation